Okay, so we've had a look at the user interface from both the student's perspective and the teacher's perspective. We've been able to set up a classroom. So now it's time to get ready to do some teaching. And in order to do that, we're going to need to explore the classwork page. So go ahead and click on classwork. And right away, we are met with this button, create. Go ahead and click create. And you will see that you have five options then a line and a separate option. The reason the topic is a separate option is because any of these assignment, quiz assignment, question material, or a reuse post can all live inside topics. Topics are like shelves in a bookcase. All of these items are like the different materials, books, whatever you put in your bookcase, go into bookcase and the topics are like the shelves and that's how you're going to organize them. Each teacher tends to have their own organizational system. So I'm not going to say to you, there is the one and only way which works, but I will show you one or two topics that I like to use. And then from there, of course, you can make it into your own masterpiece on Google Classroom. I tend to create a topic for lesson materials. I sometimes create a general one just for homework. Now, one thing to note about the classwork tab, when you put in topics, they don't appear on the student side right away. Topics will only appear in the student side once you add a material to them. And we'll look at that in a later video. So stick around till the end. Thank you for watching this video e-learning course. If you find it helpful, please do like, share, and hit the subscribe button to my YouTube channel. It really helps things to grow. Thank you very much.